Yeah, it's like flat. The uh, no, no, no. They're long strips. Like uh, what they're for. We got. To go. If you drop a tinfoil down, come down that gun, it goes this way. <laughs> oh, is that right? Because it's looking for metal. Let's go. Whoa! Then, wait over here. It was July and bright sunny day. The sun went down. Went up. You couldn't see the sun. <laughs> But we get, and then we got on well, You mean the ground, the uh, ground to air missiles, the ones that are trying to knock the planes down? That's kind of like, then that's like flak, right? Mm -hmm. What they have now, or later on they use flak, now it's tinfoil. Is it tinfoil? Was it flak? <coughs> Was it flak that they blew out of the plane and then it came down? Yeah, well, I don't know if it blew it out. It just actually, come out actually, of the plane. After they started dropping them, we couldn't see them. Isn't that they, they were up out of, out of our reach, uh -huh. but they were our planes. Yeah. But they were out of Germans' reach too. Not, not the big guns. We got a nine inch and reach it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we got a nine inch and shoot further. Than that. <coughs> Our gun shoot to a little bit over two miles. The rest could go up about. Isn't that miles. something? Two miles. But see, when they coming in, they were way out of range. But when they get over Germany, see, they they were more in range. Yeah. A little more accuracy to drop the bombs. Yeah. Thirty-two hundred of them. Bad day for Germany. I didn't know we had that many planes. <laughs> I didn't Plus either. the fighters. You know, we have fighters to guard our bombers. How long was it, was it before Hitler surrendered after that? It's just like Japan. I don't know what possessed them to be stupid enough to think they were going to take over the U.S. I guess they didn't think we'd have to resolve do anything about it. How about Germany? They're small yet. Yeah. Well, but Germany... They were already invading other places over there. Japan just took it upon themselves. Uh, let's go get the United States. What a, what a foolish mistake. They started, didn't they? In Who? Hawaii. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's where they goofed up. Yeah. If they went ahead and set that second low of bombers like they was going to, yeah, we'd, all be, we'd all be speaking Japanese right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they, the thing <laughs> is, they, they make miscalculations themselves. They did have the element of surprise. I mean, they did do yeah. damage, and they did, uh, I don't, you know, I'm not saying the Japanese were good, but they did a good job in what they did to begin with, but they didn't follow through with it, and they miscalculated things. But some of the mistakes were made by our own people. Yeah, yeah. but we're, we're about ten people to their one. Yeah, they, they didn't stand a we chance. Did. They didn't stand a chance, and then you get a couple of bombs over there, I'd give up. I see, wouldn't wait for two of them to be dropped. See, when that Belgian breakthrough broke through, we had two and a half million people fighting. Ike says, I want Our two. Time? Ike says, I want two million people now. That makes five and a half million. <laughs> wow. The Germans didn't have a million bombing all together. And the farther the Germans get, the, le the less people they have. They're scattered out, see? Yeah. So eventually. But the Japanese learned. The Japanese learned the hard way. They couldn't beat us, so now they're slowly buying us. Yeah, well, that's China too. Yeah. I'd rather have Japan buy us than China. That's, that's one we should watch out for, they said. China? China. Oh, yeah. The China's not going to have to fight a war. They got us money wise. They got us money wise. I mean, it's a financial thing now. It had nothing to do with weapons and stuff. You see that bank in Georgia today, that paper? Uh huh. 4.5 million, they're going bankrupt. 